Hi hey guys. In all my research online, one of the questions that keeps coming up is, why should we hire you? And one item that I want to differentiate from the other teachings is the timing of this question. So let's talk about the timing and how you might handle the question a little bit differently depending on the timing that it's introduced in the interview. Uh, if you like my content, please like. If you have any comments at all, please comment. And please subscribe if you like my overall content. So with this question, it's going to come either at the beginning or the end. And if it comes in the middle, it just doesn't have good flow. And so I wouldn't anticipate this question somewhere in the middle of the interview, unless the interviewer feels like they've lost you and they really just are trying to end the interview and seeing if you give a great answer. First things first, you have to prep. And with the why should we hire you, the difference in the prep here is a little bit more organizational prep. So find out about the company culture, their values, their mission statement, articles that you've read, what's really going on with the organization. And then as you look at the job description, like you always would, be tying your skills and strengths specifically to that role. So let's dive in. This question is actually very similar to the tell me about yourself question if you get it first. You really want to be thinking about your strengths and how they align and the way I would handle this question is, Jen, after looking at the position and looking at the organization, I think that my skills A, B, and C align really well with what the organization is looking for, but I don't work here and I don't want to make any assumptions and so as you think about your current needs today, would you like me to go more in depth on any of those specific strengths or skills? And sit back and listen. And Jen in 75%, 80% of those scenarios is going to say, hey, Jeff, let's just go through your skills and strengths and see how they align. But you don't know what's going on internally at that organization. And occasionally Jen might say, we really need more of skill B. Please focus on that and give me some good examples. Boom huge uptick. You're already having an uptick because you're making it more of a dialogue. And then secondly, you have a huge uptick because you're ready to talk about your strengths and how they align to the position. But if you can focus on one core item that they really need, that's great. Secondly, I always like to throw it back. Not everybody feels comfortable answering a question with a question, even though you are giving them a little bit of content. So if you don't feel comfortable, three strengths, three skills that align to the position backed by an example, and none of those examples should take more than 30 seconds. You really have to keep the time down when you're answering these questions. So a strength skill with an example might take 30 seconds each, so really keep that in mind. So now let's flip to the end. If you have been doing your job throughout the interview and you get the why should we hire you question at the very end, then you're really kind of looking at Jen and you're saying, hey Jen, I hope I've done a really good job throughout this interview of highlighting my core strengths, my core skills, and how they align to the role, and how they just overall align to the organization and what you guys are looking for. Is there any item that I can expand upon to help me get this position? Is there anything that I could clarify or give more depth to that's really going to help you determine that I'm the right fit for the role? Now, in the beginning of the conversation, Jen might be likely to kick this back and really go with your flow 25% of the time. But at the end of the conversation, if Jen's really give, gotten a good opportunity to know you and hear about your strengths and skills, Jen's probably going to be more in the 75-80% category to respond and ask you to clarify something or expand upon something. So this can be very, very powerful if you get this question at the end, if you have been doing your job throughout the interview. Secondly, if you don't feel comfortable, go back to what you do in the beginning. Talk about your three key, key skills and strengths and how they align to the position. I think, again, this is one of the items that's not really talked about is the timing of this question and, and how you handle it and how aggressive you want to be can really be based on when you get this question. Just don't forget to prepare and really tie in the organizational stuff. The when 
when you get the question of why should we hire you, it shouldn't just be about your strengths. It should tie a little bit of the organization in as well. Uh, I hope this helps. Again, if you, if you like the content, please like. If you have any comments or there are any questions that you're thinking, wow, I'd love to know the answer, uh, please throw that in the comments below. And if you like my overall content, please subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.